You guys have no idea. <laughs> Hello, you guys. Welcome to another exciting episode. I feel it real fun. Oh my god, we are going to have such good fun. Date, date, date. I always forget. It is thing. the 16th of... Like 7 million fucking times. It must be the 18th of February or something. Uh, yes, yeah, it is. It is our 18th. Our 18th. Boom. That's right. Okay, boom. Cool. This is going to so, fit in go to freenevel.com. Boom, boom. While you're at freenevel.com, if you're not already on our email list, subscribe to the Boom. 221 email list Boom. and get a goodie email every day. Uh, yeah, or until one of us dies. That's right. Join us in manifestingmasterycourse.com. That's right. Yep. Nirvana, Joy. That's... Oh, the MM kids are here. Oh, Triple yes, D. Manifesting Mastery, they all know about it's... it. It's a 90-day adventure, our one, and Nirvana. it's loads of fun. Oh, my God, guys. And... Boom. Cody, Already fans. Cody is loving Triple D. Oh, cool. Good one, Cody. Boom. Oh, yes, Triple you went on the call. So yeah, get on the next one. Get on the next get one. Get on the next one. Yeah. But I hope you enjoyed yesterday's call. And the recording. Yes. That's what I meant. Yes. <laughs> and for refunds, go to our YouTube channel, feelofrealfun.com. I know this because Tyler knows this MM. I saw Bruce Roop, MM, Triple D people are all over oh, the place. Yes. MM Yolanda, Christensen, Hello. MM. Kate. Kate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I just like when that well, happens. We start. All right. So today, guys, we're going to cover something really cool called the Western Gate Method. It's actually yes. a really freaky fast way to create cool, coolio scenes that manifest what you want. Yeah. And uh, if you'd missed the last three shows that we did before the Q&A show... Check out those alpha action playlists. At, Simple, uh, speedy scenes yep. or something like that. you got to check that out at uh, feelitrealfun.com. Yeah, that was a pretty playlist. So today is actually <clears throat> going to be another one up on Feel It Real Fun, part of another playlist. That's right. It was my request. That's right. Because I wanted to know more about each gate. Yeah, the gate. We're going to start with the Western Gate Method because yeah. that's the one we're starting with today. Yeah. And it's the one we'll end with as well. <laughs> so that's right. And DDD. Boom. And DDD Bruce That's right. Roop. DDD yes. Bruce Roop. That's right. And I'm in DDD kids all over the place. All right. Cool. So, so we're starting with a quote. Yes. So you're calling this the Western Gate Method of Neville Goddard's. That's right. Boom. If I could touch anything in another world, the state akin to sleep in brackets, and compel myself to awaken while holding it, I would find it was real. All right. Let's notice how easy this is, guys. Hmm. Uh, I've once lost my wallet, way more than once, yeah. right? And I found my wallet using this. Yeah, and I did with the same with my secretaries. Yep. That time, yeah. You um, can use this to find things that you've had and lost. You can use this to find things that you haven't had yet. <laughs> oh, my God. You haven't had yet. You yeah. lost them, and then you found them. And That's right. <laughs> yes. Cool. Cool. So, let's continue, Victoria. So... You do it for your world, a job you want, the home you would occupy, the marriage you want. How would you possibly do that? Okay. With the touch. Yeah. Notice what Neville says there. You can do it with what? The job you want, yeah. the home you wish to occupy, and what was the other one? And the okay. marriage you want. And the marriage you want. I want you to start pondering this stuff because a lot of people are teaching batshit crazy things. Mm -hmm. And batshit crazy always does two things. It actually slows down what you want. And it does that by denying the truth about you and how this works. Because you imagine something to be in your current home or under the current bridge that you live under, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you imagine something to be single or unhappily married. And you imagine something to be stuck at a job or get unemployed that you don't like, mm -hmm. right? So I want Ada to just, just realize that she didn't need any bad shit crazy things. You actually felt something. And you may have touched it in consciousness. So, Victoria... Continue. Shall we continue? Hello, I'm at. I was just going to say with the job that you want, sit at that desk. Occupy it. Yeah. Occupy the desk. Occupy the yeah. desk. Right? Yeah. But, but what if you've never been behind that desk? Ooh, this could get fun. Just ponder that. So, sit at the desk of which you would sit. Hmm. Live in the house you want to live in. Be married to the sort of person you want to be married to. And if you hold to it in your imagination, then you will make it real in your outer world. So how would you sit at that desk? How would you live in that house? Now, Victoria, I've got a question for you today. Okay. Right? Have you ever moved house? 
Yes. Now, that doesn't involve moving a house, by the way. Those of you who don't understand things, some people are very literal. It doesn't mean that you moved a house. Yeah, no. Uh, that means that you moved your what? Me and all my stuff. Belongings. Yeah. yeah, you moved you and your stuff. Yeah. Right? So if you were in, so if you were living up in the mountains and you wanted to live at the ocean, how would you experience a sip of coffee, holding that cup of coffee, feeling it go down your gullet, right, while at your new house? Mm. You, get, you don't got to f- actually feel the house even. Mm. You can feel, you know what coffee feels like. Oh. Yeah. How would you experience that? T- how would you hold, what would that mug feel like in the salt air? Mm. Right? Mm. I just, yeah, you can explore this in so many cool ways. Mm. So what, what about, he said something about marriage, didn't he? He did. All right, go ahead, yeah. He said, be married to the sort of person you want to be married to. All right. So notice he doesn't say soulmate. Mm. Right? Now, here's something that I noticed from like uh, more than a few decades of being alive around men's and women's. Right? Yeah. Some women's like a good smack on the bottom. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, good old crackadoo. Right? <laughs> I don't. Reminds me of dad giving me a good smack yeah, on the bottom. The good old crackadoo, right? <laughs> so other women's like a little bit of a cuddle, yeah. right? Just a, oh, just a little, mm. or maybe a little, right? <laughs> <laughs> now here's the thing, right? So uh, the kind of person, how does Neville phrase that exactly? The, yeah, he says, be married to the sort of person you want to be married to. What would it be like, uh, you know, for those of you that like the smackadoo? Right? So you can imagine you wake up in the morning and you know, bang, it gives you old smackadoo on the bump. Right? <laughs> on the bump. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Right? Yeah. Well, those of you that want to cuddle, maybe yeah. it's just the feeling. How would you feel just being held? Mm. That holdy bit. Mm. Right? This is all Western gate. This is touch. I want you to explore sensation. For those who say, well, never, yeah, yeah, no, no. Yeah. Whenever you experience the tones of reality, we'll get to that someday. Uh, there are these things called emotions, right? You feel good whenever you're enjoying that cup of coffee or the mm. smack of dew, right? Yeah. Well, she, um, she doesn't like the smack of dew. No. Like, yeah, smack of dew with a cup of coffee. House. After moving house. Yeah, what? A, your coffee and the ice. Like, yes. Especially your favorite coffee. What I'd be imagining would be my favorite coffee cup that I use now. And like, oh, it's the vibe of the trip. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're you're handling your ice. stuff yeah. in your house. You yeah. get it? What about the desk, right? Yeah. Yeah, if I had a desk, I sort of have a desk, but what's on my little work area? I've got photos right. and, and stuff, <laughs> stuff. right? Uh, I've got st- I've got my stuff there. Now, if, it, if I was imagining, right, if, so if we had uh, the, the mansion up on the hill, which I don't want, but if we had that and we desired to move there, I'd just imagine, right, like I'd just imagine uh, my shit there. Mm. All right, what's it like holding my shit there, sitting it down on the... T- Right. We got a really good heavy table. Before we got the table, I imagined sitting my mug on a heavy table. Mm. Right? Dush, it feels different when the mug lands on a heavy table versus some Ikea piece of crap. And I know some of y'all like Ikea. That's great. But uh, <laughs> I hear they make good meatballs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, haven't ama- I haven't managed to touch an Ikea meatball yet in consciousness. Yeah. Uh, if I do, we'll go there. Right, or someone will bring us some. <laughs> so, Victoria. Yes. Shall we continue with the Yes, bits? we shall. All right. So, the Western Gate. The ancients called this, this capacity the Western Gate and tied it in with the sense of touch. Keep on going. If you can hang on to the thing you touch and then awaken, you will find that the thing has become real. We have it in Genesis, in the story of Jacob and... Esau. Esau. Let's try and remember how to say it. Esau. Isaac, the father, who was blind, said, Come close that I may touch you. Come closer. And the state symbolized by Jacob, the supplanter, was made real in, in place of the state that had seemed so real before, symbolized by Esau. So I want you to get this. What, what, Isaac was blind. Sometimes you got to let yourself not be led by the eyes, mm. right? My buddy Joey used to drive down the down the road, right? And so Joey, Joey had a thing for girls in short shorts. So I'm driving <laughs> with Joey down the road one day, and he's and this chick with short shorts goes by. And so Joey's driving the car, he's wearing, he's oh, looking no. at the girl with the short shorts, <laughs> and he starts to turn his head a little bit, right? And you know what happens with the old steering wheel? Yeah, I know. Right? Soon he's taking out parking meters. <laughs> 
right? <laughs> it was an expensive look, yeah. right? But sometimes you got to forsake that. You got to feel as if you're already where you're going. You get to remember you're driving the bus, mm. right? So don't let the eyes lead. What did Isaac? Isaac didn't see. I, Isaac couldn't see. He couldn't mm. see. You get it? Sometimes you can't see. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Right? So, yeah, ignore what you can see because you can't see around corners. You can't see through walls. I'm not with your physical eyes anyway. Mm -hmm. Right? I can't even see Victoria's toes right now or the bottom. I like to smack a do. Right? <laughs> but I know what it looks like. I can go inside and go, ooh. Right? Yeah. Or a little Oreo cookie person. Oh. Or, <laughs> boom. You get it? Yeah. So, Victoria. Yes. All right. So, as we look at this, yes. Uh, Isaac, so on and so forth touch notice he drew it closer mm. right till he held it right so i've got a couple questions for you yeah so i'll, let you I'll take, take the heavy lid because i'm gonna right. get a tissue because actually with the lights it's suddenly really humid <laughs> all right so excuse me that's right just... yeah wipe off wipe off all right <laughs> so yes uh questions what does it feel like if you lost your keys or your wallet what's it feel like right uh Mm. So, here, so and, and uh, let's just start there. Second, that actually happened to you, I remember, because you've got this really cool wallet. It's really we don't have it for the it, show. It's very unique. It's very unique. And it's got all a tooled um, tree, a, a, a picture anyway. Yeah, like Neville Goddard's outside, tree. It is like Neville Goddard's tree. But it's been tooled into the leather so you can actually feel it. So yep. um, when you lost it, I remember you even said to me, feeling that. Yeah. Feeling the wallet. the wallet. Yeah, exactly. Really. Yeah. Now, here's what's fun. The one mm. time I lost it. So I'm, I'm, in, I'm, I'm in the loop. lost it a few times. Right? <laughs> and I'm feeling the wallet in my hand. And I feel suddenly like walking out to the kitchen. So I follow my feelings. I feel holding the wallet. I walk out to the kitchen and I just feel like looking on top of the refrigerator. And I ain't there. Right? Mm. Now, here's the thing. It's like, right, that's weird. Because I felt my wallet and I felt like walking out to the refrigerator. Well, I look down. There's a little stool we have next to it. It's right below the stool in the shade. I never would have seen it there. Mm. Right? But but I but I knew everything's inside of you. Yeah. I knew exactly where to go because I was holding my wallet in consciousness. And just a few seconds later, I'm holding it physically, even though there's no way I could see where it was. I've looked out there, mm. but where it was behind the little stool, I could never see. So how does it feel? Mm. What does it feel like? Okay. What does it feel like? Herman, it feels a certain way. The other question, how do you, okay, how do you feel holding it? Okay. I feel nice holding my wallet. I like going out knowing I've got money, cards. You know. Actually, that's a really cool one for me because mm. when I was mentioned that the secretaires, how I lost them that day. Yep. And it's similar so I don't mean to do a me too, but very similar thing because they were actually right beside where I was. I suddenly, I was suddenly like looking out, like, oh my God, where are they? And it turned out I placed them in a pot right beside my leg, <laughs> but under the plant, like, so you couldn't see it from where I was. And exactly the same thing, felt drawn to walk up our little tump. And I'm thinking, so I just went there. And then when I got up there, it was suddenly like, what am I doing up here? Yeah, I didn't even use them up here. Yeah, you felt like walking up there. Yeah, yes. turned around and then saw them in the pot. But to keep expanding on that, yes. you said, what do you feel like when you touch it? I'm in the state of garden girl. That's my state when yep. I have the secretaires in my hand. Boom. And turned around and there they were. It just found, like straight away found them, but yeah, that is it's almost that state as well. So if she left Garden Girl, oh, for, I, can't, I don't know where yeah. they are. I, I might oh, fudge, man. I'll just go run the sweeper. Yeah, yeah. Right. Three months later. Yeah, <laughs> the rusted old yeah. secretaires might yeah. have been found. Found them. Yeah, got you. Right. Yeah. Get how cool this is, guys. This also mm. brings us back to identity-based manifesting mm. and cool shit there. Mm. That's nice because again, yes. notice she was moved. She felt like climbing the tump. Yeah. So she did. Julia's here as well. Joe says your hair looks lovely today, Victoria. Oh, thank triple you. Triple D Julia. Oh, just, triple triple well, D Bruce. Meet triple me. D Julia. <laughs> it's really humid <laughs> here today. 
We're about to get massive thunderstorms. All right. right. So mm. here, here's another twist. I alluded to this earlier. How does it feel to be held? Mm. Okay, by your lover. How does it feel to be held by that car seat? Get it? Even if you don't know what a BMW car seat feels like, what's it feel like to be sitting in a car that you feel secure in? How yes. Do, okay, a couple things tend to happen. Relax. Ah. Oh. You get it? Static into sleep. So if I'm imagining her, th this is also how I met her. I was imagining being held mm. in a very particular way, feeling a particular way. And when I met her, she held me. Ah, oh, got it? I didn't even know she existed, mm. <laughs> right? But I was imagining being held, and here we are. Same thing with your car, right? Same thing. What you, what's it like? And we, I, we've all had shit cars, right? My shit car didn't hold me like my Bimmer does. <laughs> you get it? No. <laughs> Boom. All right. Mm. I think that's pretty good. I think that's very good. All right. Mm. So, guys, Western Gate, touch. Mm. It all began with Victoria saying, if you could touch anything in another world, the state of to sleep, and compel yourself to awaken while holding it, you would find it is real. Yeah, that Boom. is beautiful. I noticed Bruce does this with his photography. In Dream Driven Day, he shared with us heaps of goody photos. Oh, he's still sh sharing them. Still yeah. looking on their lovely. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And, and, and this is what's cool, because how do you feel holding that camera? Mm. How do you feel? feel holding that camera after taking that shot Click. Ah. putting the lead on Moses how do you feel <laughs> putting the lead on Moses and grabbing your camera knowing you're going on a boom ace adventure got it yeah there's where you get to play yeah so Victoria shall we tell them yes let's we shall. tell them so the first thing we want to know is what was your strawberry writ? I have to learn what strawberries in sign language. Oh, God. I'll ask, I'll ask oh, it to pull. Today. I'll bring one on the show tomorrow All if right. there's any left. Cool it if there's any left. <laughs> yes. Boom. Because I think I might have some in a gin and tonic later. Tyler says, what if it just feels like you're being held? You know. Yeah. If I gave you a cuddle versus your soulmate. <laughs> Tyler, it's time for a cuddle, buddy. Hoo-ha. Yeah, versus, ah. Yeah. Oh. That's maybe his strawberry bit. Yeah, could be. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Just so that's my strawberry bit because that's what I love too. Just that being held. Held. Yeah, sure. She's not into oh. the smackadoo. Like we tried. <laughs> we, we tried it once. <laughs> you should have seen the look I got. The old smackadoo. Yeah. Like, all right. Lesson yeah. number one. Uh, what was that movie that Tony Robbins was in? Shallow Hell. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Anyway. Yeah. So, um, my strawberry bit. Probably that first sentence of Neville's, I loved, if if I could touch anything in another world, stay akin to sleep and compel myself to awaken while holding it, I would find it was real. That, God. Okay. Yeah. Boom. I'll expand mm. on this. My, my strawberry bit, mm. right, is having faith in the reality of your imaginal act. Because if, if I felt that wallet in consciousness and then went, yep, I hope I find it. Yes. I've just dismissed it. Yes. Versus I, I, I feel it in consciousness when I'm in the loo. Yes. And I, can, you know, and I can still feel it in my hand as I walk to the kitchen. And I, and I, and I'm, and I feel like walking to the fridge and it's mm -hmm. not there, but I still feel it. Yes. Right? Oh, it's at the bottom of the fridge. Mm. Boom. Hmm. Nice. Cool. So, Victoria. So, let us know your strawberry bits. I can oh, see some God. people are. Thank you. Oh, wow. Meanwhile. Tony likes to smack a doo. Uh, <laughs> he likes to smack a doo. <laughs> you're, you're, you're endorphin. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Anticipation. Dopamine. <laughs> oh, you got to. Oh, no, you got to cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, go to freenevel.com. That's right. Join us at manifestingmasterycourse.com. That's right. And for refunds, go to our YouTube channel, feelitrealfun.com. That's right. Or put it all off for another day, right? 
After I do my 555, I'll go check out manifestingmasterycourse.com. My 555? Oh, yeah. You write something down five times, 55 times a day for 55 oh. days or something like that. And then oh. and suddenly it's like, wow, you know what? I, I didn't need to write something down five times, 55 times a day for 55 days in a row in order to do that. <laughs> I just imagined doing it and I did it. So mm. why didn't I just fucking imagine what I really wanted? Mm. Right? Why didn't I just touch that instead of imagining touching pen and a paper? <laughs> yeah, well, how many of you guys today... We're wondering, what if there's going to be a show today? Or look at that, there's a show, and imagine watching us live. Live. You all did it. You all did it. Yay. Love yous. Love yous. See you. Yep. <laughs>